Hello, everyone. So here we are having a case study based questions of class 10th and uh, it belongs to chapter number nine, some application of trigonometry. It's a very good question. Let's read it out. So they are saying there are two lampposts and uh, they are having equal height. You can see there are two lampposts and which are having equal height. A boy measured the elevation of the top of each lamppost from the midpoint of the line segment, joining the feet of the lamppost as 30 degree. Okay. After walking 15 meters towards one of them, he measured the elevation of the top of the nearest lamppost at the point where he stands as 60 degree. Okay. I think uh, it would be much more clear if we draw the figure, which is actually the crucial part of these questions. You can't solve these types of questions without drawing the figure. I mean, you could do it, but definitely the chances of getting it incorrect increases. So let me draw it first of all, just a minute. So basically, let me draw it. So here is the horizontal part. And here we are having two lampposts, which are having equal height. Let me do it. Another lamppost. Okay. And as per the question, the boy is standing at the midpoint of the point. Okay. A boy measured the elevation of the top of each lamp from the midpoint. So let me mark the midpoint first of all. Here it is the midpoint. Here it is the midpoint M. Of the line segment joining the feet of the lamp post as 30 degree. Okay, here it is 30 degree. Let me draw it. And these lamp post, lamp post are basically standing vertically. So the angle will be 90 degree. Okay, so the angle of elevation is 30 degree here as well as here. Now they are saying, okay, that's it. Now the boy is moving 15 meter towards one of the lamp post. And the angle of elevation comes out to be 60 degree. In the beginning, it is 30 degree. So originally, the boy is at the point M. And he is moving toward one of the lamppost, 15 meter. Okay. So you could take any of the lamppost as per your convenience. I could take the right lamppost. So let's. this is point M, point P, sorry. So uh, on reaching the point P, which is 15 meter from point M, the angle of elevation is 60 degree. Let me do it. <clears throat> Sorry. So this distance is actually 15 meter as per the question. Okay. Now next. Okay. The angle of elevation comes out to be 60 degree. Okay. In the first part of the question, A part, taking H meter as the height of the lamp. Okay. Let's take it. Lamp post, I mean. Okay. So here is the H. Here is the H. Okay, this is the H, this is another H. Taking H meter as the height of each lamppost and X as the distance between the two feet of the lamps. Okay, so this total distance is actually the X. Let me mark it. This total distance between the two lampposts is actually X. Okay, then what we have to do, find the relation between X and H. Okay, no problem. One more thing that I have already told you in the beginning that M is the midpoint. So if total distance between the two lampposts is X, then definitely the distance of the first lamppost from the point M and the second lamppost from the point M should be equal and it is equals to X by 2. Agree? So let's move to the... First of all, let me mark it and then we will move to the next part. So these two distances are equals to X by 2 and X by 2. Let me mark it. X by 2, X by 2. Okay, done. Now there is one more distance which is left. MP, let me take the name of these lampposts first of all. Let's say I'm saying this is AB. And this is CD. We have already known that BM is equals to DM. That's correct. That is equals to X by 2. Let me also write it down. AB is equals to CD. And both are equals to H. Then BM. BM. BM is equals to uh, DM. And both are equals to X upon 2. And the BD, total distance BD is equals to X. Okay, so this is done. Now MP, MP is equals to 15 meter. This is also given to us. And I think we are done with everything. If there is anything which is left, we will write it later on. So let's move to the next one. Now they are saying we have to find out the relation between X and H. So we can take the right angle triangle CDM. Let me take it in RT triangle CDM in RT triangle CD, CDM, CDM. I hope you can see CDM. And here we are saying that 
only the perpendicular and the base is given, hypotenuse is not given. And we already knew that when perpendicular and base are given, we use the tan theta. So it is tan 30 right now. Perpendicular upon base, perpendicular is h and base is actually x by 2. And tan 30, I hope we all know that tan 30 is 1 by root 3. And you can simply say, 2 will go to the part of h, so it will become 2h by x. So if you do the cross multiplication, you will get 2 root 3 h. That's the first equation. Let me take it first equation because it will be used. And this is actually the end of the first part, which is the relation between x and h. So this is the first part we are done. Let me also write it down that it is the first a part. Now the next part of the question, let me mark it separation so that now next the b part of the question so they are saying b part after moving 15 meter toward one of the lamp posts what is the relation between x and h in the beginning the boy is at point m and after 15 meter covering 15 meter distance the point p the boy reaches at point p so we will going to use the right angle triangle cdp i hope it is quite clear in rt triangle cdp i hope clear cdp in triangle, right angle triangle CDP, this time we are having perpendicular base and the angle is 60 degrees. So we are going to write down tan 60 is equals to perpendicular upon base. So what is perpendicular? It's H. What is base? It is X by 2. No, it's not X by 2. My mistake. Let me write it down. See, uh, the whole MD distance is actually X by 2. The MP distance is 15. So PD distance will be X by 2 minus 15. Clear? Let me also mark it here. This distance is actually x by 2, x by 2 minus 15. So we have to write it properly, x by 2 minus 15, okay? So tan 60 is known to everyone, I hope. It is root 3, h upon, I'm going to take the LCM, so it will be like this. 2 will definitely shift to the upper part, so it will be 2h upon x minus 30. So... It will be, if I do the cross multiplication, I get 2h is equals to root 3x minus 30. That is actually the required relation. That is actually the required relation between h and x for the second part or the b part of the question, right? Now, the, let's move to the third part of the question, c part. They are saying find the height of each lamppost. We have to eliminate the variable x and find out the value of h, right? And we already have the value of x in the first part of the question. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to substitute the value of x in the last relation, this one, right? So I'm going to put the value of x in. So I'm simply putting the value of x from first, from equation 1. So if I do it, 2h is equals to root 3 will as it is x to root 3h minus 30. So if I multiply further, it will become... 2 root 3 root 3 becomes 3 3 to the 6 so 6 h minus 30 uh, root 3 2 h is equals to this one so we have to find out the value of h so ultimately we have to move the h on the same side so let's move minus 30 root 3 on the left hand side so it will become 30 root 3 is equals to 6 h minus 2 h so it will be 30 root 3 is equals to 4 h right so if we have to find out the value of h we have to divide uh, 30 root 3 by 4, right? So, but basically we don't have the space. So let me give some time so that I would be able to make some space. Okay, so uh, where should I write it down? I think we have some space in the bottom. Let, let us utilize that. So, just a minute. Okay, I think this is more than enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do I am simply dividing 30 div root 3 divided by 4 and we are getting h. So if we divide it uh, to 15 and this will be 7.5, right? So h is equals to 7.5 uh, root 3 meter. So we got the value of height. Let me put it in bracket box. Okay. So h is equals to 7.5 root 3. So this is actually the third part of the question. Now we have done all the part, but there is also a choice part. Find the distance between the two lampposts. Ultimately, we have to find out the value of x, right? So we already got the value of x. So what I'm going to do is put this value of x in first equation. Here is the first equation. And we will get the value of x. This is quite easy, right? So let me do it this one also. Or part, putting the value of x in equation 1. Putting the value of x 
in equation one. Where is equation one? Here is the equation one. So I'm going to put it x equals to two root three h. The value of h is 7.5 root three. So 7.5 into two is the double of 7.5 is 15. We all know that. And root three into root three is three. And what is 15 three times? It is 45. So x is equals to 45. So we have to find out the distance between the two lampposts. It is actually 45 meter. I hope it is quite clear to each one of you. We have done all the parts of this question. Uh, if you have time, it is actually a case study based question. This is also enough. But if you have time, then you should write down the final answer in terms of words. For example, after writing x is equals to 45 meter, you should write down. Hence, the distance between the two lampposts is 45 meter. Although these are case study based question, they are they don't mind if you don't write the words, but if you have time, then definitely do the proper answer. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay.